the Red Hot Beef Big Burrito. I'm not even sure what to say at this point. Um, yeah, let's let's just jump right into it. This should be this should be this should be quite the sight. It's quite the sight to behold. So we've got a giant burrito. Um, how long does it take to cook? We could either preheat in the oven, or we could use something actually worth a shit: microwave. Uh. Okay, so it says. 45 seconds per side, so we're gonna have to flip, we're gonna have to flip this bitch on its head. Okay, no, I definitely could not open this one-handed. Oh my, I can't even open it two-handed. Two -handed. All right, um, let's try the other side. Oh, it's not opening. Help. Decided to use scissors. Scissors is not something I normally use, but we're gonna throw this into the microwave. And we're gonna put it in for 45 seconds on each side. So, boom, boom, boom. Beautiful. Um, so, I, <laughs> I bought this at Walmart, okay? So, and I just, I, I kept the receipt because I need you to see, I need you to witness this. One entire dollar, look at that. Hi, this is Kamikaze um, at the store, at Walmart specifically, and um, I, I came here to get the burrito, but um, and they didn't have any. This is, the, this is when I'm trying to record the, the, the funny bit, but um, uh, what I did find, flaming Hot Cheese Puffs. 480 calories per bag. Why don't we take a look at this fine specimen as well? This is like a quick little break from the extreme heat of the burrito. How are the flaming hot cheese puffs? Um, let's find out. 40% of your daily value of sodium and also 40% of your daily value of total fat in this entire bag. Good stuff. Very good stuff. Oh, Lord have mercy. It doesn't smell very good. Look at this. Look at this, dude. What is this? It's like a shrimp. It's like a fried shrimp. I'm not entirely sure what I was expecting here. You see, the puff part tastes normal. But, like, it doesn't taste cheesy. It just tastes... Flat, I, I, I think is the word. And it's not very hot. Like, it's hot, but like, you know, not like the red bag of Doritos, you know. Not good. Not good. Don't recommend. That's unfortunate. Yep, yeah, not desperately great. I do not recommend. Boom. Dead on money. Dead on the money. Okay, let's see. It's pretty, pretty not warm. Well, I mean, yeah, it's reasonably warm right now, but we're going to flip that. We're going to flip it. We're going to flip it. I don't know if I'm going to go the full time because it's already pretty warm, but uh, yeah. Very cool indeed. I'm scared. A lot of the cheap Red Hot stuff is actually literally just, you know, like, packed with, like, you know, salt and stuff. But, like, the, the heat isn't actually, like, a good taste, because, like, a lot of things are hot that taste good, you know? But generally, a lot of cheap stuff that's hot is just kind of trash. Kind of just nasty. I'm gonna say that's enough. Oh, it's soft now. Oh, oh yeah. Let's see if I can pull this out here. It's not bleeding out the, out the side like a Hot Pocket, but that's fine. That's fine. Good job, microwave. Good job. This is why, this is why we keep you around. Okay. What do we have here? So this is just the heating instructions. There's the ingredients. Let's take a look at the nutrition facts. First things first. Okay. Here we go. Calories. 
840 calories from fat, 360. We've got 40 grams of fat, which is 62% of your daily value. And another, and I mean included in that, is 12 saturated, which is almost more than your daily value in fat. Cholesterol, 40 milligrams, that's 13%. Sodium, like I said, 1440 milligrams. That is 60% of your daily value in salt. And look at the carbs. Oh, the Red Hot Beef Big Burrito is not keto-friendly. It's also got 23 grams of protein, which is an offensive amount. Um, vitamin A, 4%. Vitamin C, 8%. We also have 10% of your daily value in calcium, if it would focus, and 35% of your daily value of iron. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And look at this. Look at this. It's the hot meter. It's, it's, oh, it's up there. Oh, man. It's all the way at the top. Oh, it's all the way at the top, the hot meter. Also, look at this. Tina's Burritos on Facebook and Instagram. Um, you scan this name tag to follow Tina's Burritos. I don't recommend doing that. I feel like you may just possibly get fat just by um, association. Uh, you're not going to be able to read this, so I'll just read it myself. Okay, ingredients. F enriched flour, which is bleached wheat flour, niacin, reduced iron, thiamine mononitrate, riboflavin, the best ingredient of all, and folic acid. It's also got water. It's got beef. It has pinto beans, and tomato paste, vegetable oil, which is soybean, canola, and or corn oil. It doesn't even know what the ingredient is. And it contains 2% or less of dehydrated onion, textured vegetable protein, salt, modified food starch, jalapeno puree, which is jalapeno peppers, water, and citric acid. Baking powder, which is sodium biocarbonate, cornstarch, sodium aluminum sulfate, calcium sulfate, monocalcium phosphate. It's got guar gum, spices, ground red pepper, crushed red pepper. Oh, it's got ground and crushed red pepper. Oh, man. This, this thing's serious. It's got both garlic powder. Caramel color dough conditioner, which is sodium metabisulfite, <laughs> cornstarch, microcrystalline cellulose, and dicalcium phosphate. It contains wheat and soy. Oh my god, what kind of amalgamation is this thing? I'm, I'm honestly afraid to eat this. I'm dead serious when I say that I'm afraid to eat this. But look at the size of this thing. This is $1 at Walmart. No tax. Well, I mean, it's North Dakota. There's no food tax. But no tax. $1. A single George Washington will give you access to this unbearable thing. I'm scared. I'm scared to eat it. I don't want it. I don't want to eat it. I'm going to love this. And I'm going to fucking want to eat a lot of them. That's what's going to happen. I should have a plate. I definitely should get a plate. This is going to make a fucking mess. I'm just going to pull a plate out of the garbage because I don't care. There we go. There's a plate that's seen some action. Well, I was about to see some more. Okay. I'm scared. This is the first time that I've been afraid to eat something on this channel. <laughs> oh, dear. How is the Red Hot Beef Big Burrito? Why don't we find out together as a collective? Let's open this shit. Oh, I haven't even given you a chance to take a look at this in its full glory. Oh no, dude! Look at that! Look at that, dude! Oh, it just flops. It's like a giant limp dick, dude. I'm serious. Oh, and it smells just reprehensible. Look at this. 
And it's still hot. Don't worry. It's still hot. It hurts to touch. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Wow. Ain't that just a sight to behold? Wow, dude. <laughs> okay. Here goes nothing. Oh. All I got was shell. You can take a look in there and you can see. It looks like a, you know, a Taco Bell thing. It doesn't There's barely any meat in there. I don't see how this is pure protein. Uh, I just have to chomp through the shell in order to actually get to the meat. Oh! Oh, the meat's not good, guys. Oh. I'm starting to understand why this is a dollar. Probably can't, you can't give these things away. Oh, it's horrible. Like, you know, like that fluoride taste when you have mouthwash. Not even fluoride, it's just like mouthwash. That's what the meat tastes like, and it hits. I'm going to try and get just meat. Oh. Oh. Yeah. It's like it's like eating mouthwash, and it's like, it's like a paste. Like the meat is crushed into a paste. I don't know if I've had a taste of pinto bean yet, though. Ooh. But I will say, it's not very hot. I feel a bit of a heat sensation in my throat, but like, that might just be stomach acid trying to reject this. I guess, see, like, look at that. Oh, yeah. Ew. Look at it, dude. It's like diarrhea. God. That first bite of meat was horrible, but these subsequent subsequent bites have not been nearly as bad. Oh. Still not good though. Oh. It does have that. Oh. It has that, you know, mouthwash aftertaste. Oh. Mm. This. The, the, the wrapper said it's good for another three days. And so this is what it's supposed to taste like. See, right here. Um, two... 422. Oh, it's not good, guys. This is going to be the first thing that I eat for this series that I'm not going to finish. It's not good. See, the initial bite, it's all right, you know. The, um, the shell is packed with preservatives. Like, you can taste the preservative. It tastes... You know, a lot like the um, the buns on the um, the cattleman or whatever, the one with the middle bun. That's what the shell tastes like. But the meat itself, when you take a bite, you know, it tastes. Oh yeah, you know, you know, that could have been just something I pulled out of Taco Bell. It's nothing special, but it's not bad. But then it just hits with an aftertaste, and it's just like it just it just suddenly comes there, and it feels like you're eating something entirely different. It feels like something's changing in your mouth as you eat it. Oh my god, dude! This <laughs> and like, but you have to think back for a second. It's like it's one dollar. It's one dollar. I have to emphasize, it is a single dollar. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. I could not believe that it was a single dollar. But no. It's one dollar. One dollar for this thing. Oh my god, it's horrible. Oh, it's so bad. Yeah. The big <laughs> bread hot beef burrito. It's not even that hot. Like, I can barely taste anything 
in. I, I, I still, I feel it in my throat, but it's like barely anything. So it's like, and that's the meter at the top. That's the, that's the meter at the top of the temperature, uh, of the, of the heat meter. And it's, oh, it's, it's not good. It's not good guys. It is. Oh, okay. But in any case, yeah. Um, I think, I think this is where the big beef burrito belongs right there. All right, well, if I had to rate that, the taste, two out of 10. At first it tricks you into believing it's gonna be good, but then the aftertaste comes in. And like the heat in my throat right now, like that's all right. The extended aftertaste is not terrible, but the aftertaste, like while you're eating it, it's like, why am I still eating this? I give it a fucking one out of 10 for ingredients because some of that shit was wild. They put aluminum, I don't know, dude. I'm no goddamn chemist. Okay, I don't know everything about what happens when you combine a bunch of molecules and stuff, but I don't think I should be eating aluminum. Just my opinion on that one. Yeah, that was that was some of the most that was one of the scariest list of um, ingredients that I've ever seen. Yeah, um, a presentation not desperately great. Like I said, it looks like a limp dick. <laughs> it wasn't very you know wet. Like the shell wasn't wet. You see, I have a problem whenever I'm whenever I eat something that's baked, you know, in a tortilla. Like the tortilla just falls apart into a mush. That didn't though. That held up. That might have something to do with the aluminum though. So I don't know. You never know. So in any case, that is definitely the worst thing that I've eaten on this. <laughs> I am disappointed in myself for thinking that this would be a good video. One dollar well wasted. <laughs> George Washington died for this, okay? Just to let you know. In any case, thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you in whatever I eat next.